mission victory and Lucia's first time being finished in an MMA fight. What does it mean to kind of finish a fight like that and win like that? Uh, you know, very glad to have an uh, early finish, yeah. Uh, submission especially, of course. Um, before the fight, uh, actually, of course, the number one thought there was like, uh, we would do pretty impressive uh, striking fight. But I was ready for everything, for wrestling, of course, and uh, for submission. And as soon as I saw the opportunity, because she was so hard uh, focused to take me, taking me down, so she forgot about defense. I just uh, take, took advantage of, of, of this and finished the fight. Yeah. Do you feel like you kind of silenced some of your doubters coming off the last fight? You know, uh, when you get taken down and then finishing a fight on the ground like that, do you feel like the people who maybe doubted you after the loss to Roxy, you kind of proved them yeah, wrong? Definitely. That's why. Uh, that that is why she. From the first round, from the beginning, she just straight to, went uh, to wrestle with me. So she just went uh, to clinch with me. Uh, because uh, uh, seeing my last fight, she thought I'm probably like, not, not uh, as strong as she thought in the clinch or wrestling or something like this. So we, uh, before we saw her fights, and she's a pretty good striker. But with me, she went to wrestle. And, uh, anyway, okay, I, I, feel, I felt pretty good in clinching and I controlled her in clinching also in the first round and um, um, that's it, just in, in the second round took the situation. I know when you're in the octagon things happen quickly, but did you feel that stoppage was a little bit late, like when you were holding the choke? Yeah. I'm sorry? Did you feel the stoppage was a little bit late? It, um, it seemed as though she had already been You know, I, 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 did, I kind of didn't feel very well because she was on her bell. Uh, and I was on top of her, so we couldn't see her uh, face. Or I just saw, I just um, heard the sounds from her. Like uh, she sounded like uh, she was struggling, and then, then, then I didn't hear that sound. And I couldn't feel uh, very well if she holding me or she just laying. Uh, that's why I just kept going, kept going. And I thought, I think a referee didn't see it either because she was kind of like hidden position, uh, that's why I just kept, go, kept going. Well, yeah, you have to go to the rest stops. Yeah, and you know, she didn't tap, uh, so she uh, went well, to the end, that she wanted then. Just talk a little bit about uh, what, it's, what it means to you to have your sister here tonight, because she has a title fight in a Yes, yes, um, I just big support to have Valentina with me uh, in every fight that I have and uh, of course she is like not focusing because, because he, she, she has uh, title defense in next week and she's focusing on her preparation and while I was doing like my weight cut or like easy training for this fight they with my coach, my coach, uh, Paul Fedotov, they went to the gym and they did sparring and everything else but anyway uh, she supported me and all what I needed this week, and this is just great because I'm I, I have very huge support from her and I'm like twice stronger when she is with me. Will you be going to Uruguay? Yeah, definitely. From here tomorrow we are going to Uruguay and we'll be preparing for the fight, and I will be supporting her there. And and is it? Do you like having kind of like the timelines matching up, or is it a little hectic because you two no, are getting I like, ready? No, I like I like when we have fights, of course, and the perfect would be of course to fight in the same card uh, because you know when Valentina has a fight, we both have a training camp because I I'm her sparring partner. When I have training camp, she's my sparring partner. She's not like raised, you know. She also has a uh, training camp, she also has this strict schedule of training and everything else. And um, when our fights are close, we both have the same training camp, we have all uh, the same schedule and everything else. And after the fights, we will have good rest, of course, both of us. And entering this fight, did it feel any different or were there any extra nerves since you were coming off your first pro uh, loss? Uh, I did feel extra nerves, but I did feel extra need to get the victory. Yeah, I did feel it because you know you are in UFC and you are pretending to be the best, one of the best. And I want to go to, I want to climb on the top of the division. And after you got the loss, you have to get the victory. Yeah, to to show yourself. So, so now that you got it, was did you feel some sense of relief or? 
did the feeling of winning change for you? Uh, no, actually, wins every time. <laughs> wins every time feels good. Yeah. Anyway, um, win after win or win after loss, it just very, feel, feels good. In the first round, you were able to get a hold of her arm. Were you? Did you think you were close to finishing there in the first round when you got her arm? Uh, you know, um, I, I felt that I was pretty there. I I felt I felt uh, that it's very close, um, and her arm was very like straight already. And but the time she did have okay, so at the time finished, so I did get this, but I get got another one. And then she also caught you with that big elbow there in the first round. Were you hurt at all when she hit you with that? Or? Yes, a little bit. I felt it, of course, and that's why it's a little bit affected my uh, the end of the first round. Uh, but anyway, it was not like something very big, but I felt that just the blood is coming, and I thought, God, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, you have the, the cut. You can don't you kind of don't feel it, but. It, Referee could stop just. This, 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 is, uh, this is the reason um, maybe you can lose. That's why yeah, I just thought, not good, not good, but uh, anyway. See, so about the work of your corner. So you it came up the second round, there was no blood dripping down or anything. I you know, kind of talk about, talk, talk about your corner and the work they kind of did on you there in between rounds. Uh, I, um, I'm sorry? In, in, in between rounds, it seemed like you know the blood was coming down a lot, and they were able to fix, you know, fix you up pretty good there in between rounds. Came yeah, up the yeah, second round, it fixed no it blood. very good, everything went good. So the second round, I uh, came, uh, for the second round, I went already like uh, in good condition, so it wasn't like something affected me or anyway, so I was okay. Antonina, a few questions in Russian. Как в целом оценишь свой бой а, против Пудиловой? А, в целом оцениваю нормально, хороший бой, хотя я ожидала, что, конечно же, мы побьемся с ней хорошо.